You know, after the film came out, a lot of the people that saw it, you became one of their favorite characters in the film because of your resilience and your strive to succeed, you know, and, and, kind of, and your principles in life, you know. Well, how do you react to the to, you know, faction from the fans? I think my popularity in this award is just, has more to do with uh, the man that I am or what I represent than uh, maybe my physique. You know, I think uh, a lot of people are attracted to my work ethic, you know, my training style, mm -hmm. and uh, the fact that I've uh, been able to overcome so many obstacles. You know, I think people relate to that. You know, the everyday person who goes out and busts their butt every week just to make the ends meet, mm -hmm. you know, has all kinds of things happening. They can't just quit. they got to take care of themselves, support their families, and make it happen. And I think I kind of represent that in the sport, you know. So uh, I think that's, uh, I think that's why. Absolutely. Uh, what I noticed that a lot of people that didn't necessarily know anything about bodybuilding got a chance to see the film. And they all really loved it, and especially people that didn't know anything about it. And they mm -hmm. kind of suddenly associated with the sport, and they got a chance to learn about it, actually. Uh, did you notice that, too? And how do you feel about people that <coughs> are not into the sport at all, suddenly reacting really positive towards the film? I think it's, it's going to... I think this film is the best thing to happen to our sport since uh, Arnold Hulu, you know, filmed the first Pumpkin Iron. A lot of people that leave the movie, more about bodybuilding, my, my children, you say, oh, Dad, now I understand you, why you walk hard mm -hmm. like that. So what do you want to be in the next two years in, in your career? What do you think you're going You know, I was hoping this year to be top five from uh, Olympia. Over two years, I, I got to walk on it because I want to be in the top guys, top three for Mr. Olympia. I had a very disappointment. I'm probably my worst place ever in a competition at the Olympia this past season. Um, you know, I made a change. When you make a change, um, if it works out, you're a genius. If you make a change, it doesn't work out. Within everybody's like second guess and shit. Why'd you do that? You're stupid. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, it didn't work out. Typically, with my career, if you follow it, uh, something like that happens. I get pissed. Mm -hmm. I come back and I run a big show. So uh, and I, that's the reason. That's the main reason I chose to do the all. I feel it's a, you know it's the biggest contest in the world, save mm -hmm. the Olympia, and uh, I want to come back and get some redemption. Mm -hmm. I don't want to wait an entire year to go back and redeem myself to Olympia. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, what do you think the sport of bodybuilding is heading into the, into the future? How do you think it's going to develop? Or what do you think is going to happen to it as a well? whole? I think it's going to. I think it's very bright. I think a combination, you know, because of the. Well, start off with, you know, Generation Iron, uh, really introducing the world to uh, you know, our generation of bodybuilding. The people can see it's not only training, but you got to eat a lot and the round, the bodybuilding, everybody can see what's happening, what you do when you bodybuilder. Well, a lot of people, when you, when you think bodybuilder, think about only the wrong thing to be mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. And the generation, I let you see how much the guy fight to be a bodybuilder. You know, Arnold, he's got promoting Arnold Classics all over the world. Mm -hmm. you know, they have Arnold Classic you know, in Columbus, they have that one in Brazil, Europe. Australia, I think they're going to do uh, Beijing this year, and possibly Malaysia or the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's really a uh, there's more there's more competitions. I think they said there's 120 professional competitions sanctioned this year, uh -huh. more than ever. I think it was just recognized as a sport by the Olympic Committee. It's still not an Olympic sport yet, but uh, I think mm -hmm. that's the ultimate goal. I say once that once that happens, I think that'll really uh, give us some legitimacy. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, anything you want to say to your fans that uh, saw you in the film and also see you on stage at the Arnold Classic and all over the world? Um, you know, I was a fan of the sport way before I was a bodybuilder. Um, you know, I'm uh, so grateful and blessed to have the fans I have. I've got some of the best fans, I think, around. Mm -hmm. they, they stick with me to the highs and the lows. And uh, all you guys that are here this weekend in Columbus, thank you. I really appreciate your support. And uh, if it wasn't for you guys, it would be an Arnold Classic. It wouldn't be a Generation Iron. You know, the fans are what makes the sport, so uh, thank you. God bless you. I want to say to my fans from the whole world, no, uh, no disappointing me because next competition I'll be better than ever. Tune into Generation Iron Podcast with Kai Green every Wednesday. You see so many bodybuilders. Um, you know, like a perfect example of myself compared to Branch Warren. You gotta love it! It's all day! Yep! Yeah, train like a fish! Oh, that is. You gotta fucking train like a fish!